chances are you don't own a device to calibrate and profile your monitor. But there's a supposedly easy and much cheaper way to get accurate colors. A number of reviewers, including myself, provide the ICC profiles they create for each monitor they review. But this comes with the usual warnings along the line of your individual monitor may be different or this profile is for reference only. You probably heard something like that a few times by now. So we are gonna test which levels of accuracy we actually can expect from ICC profiles that others created. I just did a review of the Dell S2721 DGF and quite a few others did that as well. And some of them provided their ICC profiles, which we are gonna test and see how they perform on my copy of the same monitor. So I downloaded profiles from Bijan Yamshidi, Hardware Unboxed and Artings. I will of course leave links to their channels down below. Dell also provides their own ICC, which we are gonna throw into the mix. And of course we have our custom made profile as a point of reference to compare the results with. Now this is far from being a representative study, but I've never seen anyone doing such a comparison before, so one monitor with four different profiles is still better than nothing. Luckily the measured color gamut is baked into those ICC files, so we have our first indicator of how different or similar those individual monitors are. Vision's measurement that from Hardware Unbox and my own measurement are very similar, showing only minor differences like for instance a small dent in the red spectrum of Bijan's results. Of course, there are various other factors that play a role in those measurements, like for instance which measurement device was used and how everything was set up, so we shouldn't interpret too much into small differences. However, the results Artings got look distinctively different than the others. I don't want to go too in depth here, but part of that comes down to the choice of an unusual white point, here denoted by a plus, which obviously is not hitting the X that marks the commonly used D65 white point. Instead, the profile's white point has a color temperature of roughly 7500 kelvins and is even pretty far off from the daylight locus. I can only imagine that something went wrong here, as Artings state in their review that they calibrate to 6500 kelvins. I've contacted them and will pin a comment when I've received an answer. Now let's take a look at the color accuracy we can expect from those profiles. One important thing to note here, the accuracy we get when using someone else's profile is largely determined by how well it fits to the individual monitor. So it would be rather misleading if I would show which profile is which, as the profile that works best for my monitor might be the worst for your monitor. That being said, we see that none of those profiles manages to stay below the recommended thresholds which would be necessary for professional use. Only the individual profile delivers this kind of accuracy. Now it's fair to assume that professional colorists would calibrate and profile the monitor themselves. So this comparison is far more interesting for hobby content creators or consumers. In my opinion, the nominal targets are still good enough if you're not too serious about your color accuracy and therefore more reasonable targets for this kind of comparison. So it's great to see three of those four profiles having average delta E's just below the threshold, while two of them also having maximum delta E's below the respective threshold. But how does that compare to not using a profile at all? When working in sRGB, we get the usual oversaturation when not using any profile thanks to the white color gamut of the Dell S2721 DGF. This will of course result in higher delta E's. Using any of these profiles will result in far better sRGB performance. Three out of four are even below the nominal thresholds while the fourth one is not too far off. Under these circumstances, there's a significant chance to get better performance by using an ICC profile from one of your trusted sources than by not using any profile. Those margins change a bit when testing against the DCI-P3 color space. This color space is very close to the native color gamut of the S2721 DGF, so the monitor does not suffer from oversaturation when displaying DCI-P3 content. Therefore, we get usable accuracy out of the box, only slightly exceeding the nominal threshold for the average delta E. 
but yet again we get even better performance by using any of those ICC profiles except for profile B. You may have already noticed that I marked ICC profile B with an asterisk in all of those diagrams. I know I said I wouldn't reveal which profile is which, as it could lead to false conclusions. But I believe something went wrong with Arting's profile, so I decided to mark this as I consider this to be a defective profile. Now don't get me wrong here, I by no means want to devaluate Arting's. Mistakes can and will happen to everyone. This brings us to an important caveat. There is a chance you might unknowingly download and use a defective or wrong profile. That way you would think you are working with accurate colors when in reality they are totally off. This false sense of security can even be worse than not using a profile to begin with. If we remove the likely defective profile B, things look pretty good. We stay within the nominal thresholds in most cases or at least came close. Now we don't hit the recommended accuracy we easily got with the individual profile, but we at least beat not using an ICC profile in every single case. Especially when working in the extremely common sRGB color space, the potential improvement is huge. So some caveats apply and it's important not to rely too much on ICC profiles others provide. That being said, I will continue to provide ICC profiles in my reviews and I will also continue to recommend using them if individual calibration and profiling is not an option. Please let me know whether this was too technical and whether you would like to see more content like this or not. And don't forget to subscribe.